Hi fam, my name is Emanuela Abois. I am the founder and CEO of Tron Solution Services. My company organizes um, networking events around um, highly intellectual conversation. And these events are held on an annual basis and as a dinner. This year, however, we decided to do things a little bit differently and hold it as a breakfast dialogue. Now, we got approached by a certain company that wanted to work with us and decided to take up the marketing and sales of the event. We, we were quite excited about that because at the end of the day, it gave us the opportunity to focus on our main work. And so we signed a contract and two weeks to the event, I remember praying in my office and then the Holy Spirit tells me to contact this company because something was going wrong. Upon doing so, we realized that they had done absolutely nothing as far as the marketing and the ticket sales were concerned. So there was a general panic because, like I mentioned, it was about two weeks to the event. The CEO calls me and apologizes for um, everything that happened and asks us to delay the event, to move it from May to June. Just a week or two prior to the event as well, God had asked me to do things that I would ideally not do. So one of those things was to go to a Crown Plaza Hotel, that is the location of the event, and then just pray. Specifically, God asked me to just walk around the hall seven times as was done at Jericho. I don't think I was comfortable doing that and so I completely ignored uh, that commandment uh, the first time that it was given to me and then the Holy Spirit spoke to me again a second time and I again ignored completely the commandment. The third time um, where I felt compelled to go was during uh, our sermon on Sunday and Pastor Dawn was speaking about obedience. I did not take it as a coincidence and then after the session I, I felt completely compelled to go to Front Plaza and do as I was requested to do and so I asked God if I am really hearing from you please give me favor as I go I went and I introduced myself to the receptionist gave him uh, the purpose for my visit and I remember him looking at me and asking me do you mind repeating what you've just said? And, and then I repeated and he asked me to sit down as uh, he spoke with his colleague. Um, after a while, uh, the colleague came up, they started chit-chatting, looked at me and smiled a number of times, then eventually called me and, and allowed me uh, to, to proceed with the prayers. By the time I finished and I thanked him, I will never forget what he said when looking at me. He said, I don't think you've come to pray for your events, but you came to pray for us. We do believe that this was God's ordeal, and we thank you for the prayers. Now, we were closer to the event, nothing, nothing concrete was happening, and I remember the last straw for me was the Mano Mano protest that normally happen on Monday and Thursday. Our event was meant to happen on the 4th of May, which happened to be uh, on a Thursday. I remember during this time praying about it and, and you know, just trusting God for, for what was about to come. And uh, on, on Tuesday, I had spent so much time praising, worshiping God. And upon finishing and getting ready for my cross point, uh, I take my phone and I get the news that the protest will take place. By then I was extremely devastated um, because uh, I believe that we had been praying for a while now and we wanted, we believed in God's faithfulness, we believed in God's miracle and, and so this was not a news that I particularly expected. And, and so um, I picked up my phone and I sent a message to Pastor Dawn completely worried. Pastor Don responded with a word of encouragement and asking me to believe in God because God's will will eventually be done. And so I took, I put the phone on the side and I just did what the only thing that I know how to do and that is praying. So I lay down on the floor, I prostrate myself and I start praying to God to basically do a miracle. 
And at that particular point in time, I remember the Holy Spirit telling me over and over again, I have kept the faith. And that comes from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, where Paul is speaking and he's saying how he has fought the battle and eventually ends with, I have kept the faith. And at that particular point in time, I was convinced that God was in control and I trusted him and I stood back up and less than 24 hours later, the protest was cancelled. God had indeed come through for us. The event happened, the room was absolutely full. The feedback that we received was extremely positive. Indeed, when God is all you have, then you have all you need.